Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and I'm playing with some miniatures today. I am doing kind of a DIY, or at least trying one, and we'll see how it goes together. I'm going to just share with you what I'm about to do, and it may give you some ideas of something you can try. So, I did a video recently on doing fake lettuce, um, and I've got some here in my hand. You can see a little fake lettuce, and you can kind of see some examples here in my background. I've got a few pieces. Um, the one you see here, this way, maybe over to the side here, this one, I have torn that one into really small pieces. But since I'm going to put some resin on this one or try to make um, a resin salad dressing, I'm using big chunks, like the larger pieces. And I figured out that this makes pretty good storage for all of my lettuce and it keeps it kind of crumpled up in there. So um, I just grabbed a few pieces. For my bowl, I got one of these guys and inside of it had like a little um, plastic support and I cut it down and it has a cute little design. I don't know if you can see that. You could probably cut anything down. I just wanted to test this idea out before I used um, one of my miniature bowls. So I thought I would try it with this one. And I've got my lettuce and there's a few other things that I'm using. So I'm going to throw these ingredients there for you to look at them. So one of the things that I have handy is... Um, just an orange chunky hot glue stick they do come in colors this one um, came out of a set that had all kinds of different colors you can kind of see so I've got the orange one and I went ahead and pulled green I might use it I've got just a little hand grater um, you can usually find these at the dollar store if you want to test this out. If you don't have the glue sticks, you could probably do the very same thing with crayons um, and get something similar. So if you've got some old worn crayons, you might want to try that. Uh, what else do I have? I'm going to be using resin out of um, one of my mini verse kits. And I also have this from Dollar Tree, these foam beads. These are usually like vase fillers and stuff like that. And you can see there's lots of colors in there. Um, I'm going to be using the little red ones as tomatoes. But I want you to see in my salad over here, I use the cherries. Um, the little, let's see if I can reach up here. I don't think I need the salt for this. Oh wait, no, that's chocolate chips. But you could also use, sorry, I'm all weirdly in the way here. Um, the little the little cherries here out of one of your kits would be cute as um, cherry tomatoes. Let's set those back aside. However, instead of using those, I'm going the cheap route because there's so many in here. I'm going this way and I already separated a few out. So I think that's all I'm going to be throwing in this little salad. Um, so to get started, I think I'm going to go ahead and take some of my lettuce. And I'm just literally crumpling it in my hands. Guys, ignore my little bubbos. I had grease pop on me and get me really, really good. So I'm going to try to... Pop it in the bowl. Look, it already looks kind of like salad. And I'm just going to keep squishing it down in there. Once the resin is in place, I'm pretty sure it'll hold it down. But I kind of want some of my salad to come up on the edges here. Simply for the fact that this bowl concept that I'm using is just a thin piece of molded plastic. So I think I'm going to try to get some of my leaves to kind of... Uh, sprinkle out side of it to make my salad dressing here is what I was thinking I am looking for one of the white resins I think I have this vanilla one here 
and I'm gonna get a little cup to mix it in. So I realize there's not that much in there. I'm just gonna mix it in this. I am taking a few little liberties with this. We're gonna play with this idea together and see how it goes. So I have some chalk, some pastels, um, anything like this. I'm pulling out the white because I wanna add a little bit more white pigment to this. And I know you can add mica. Most of my mica has like a metallic sheen to it. I do have quite a bit of mica around because I use it for nails. But most of it is metallic. So I'm going to go with using one of these chalks to get just some white pigment in there. And you see I'm just kind of dusting it in there. I'm curious if it would work with just something like baby powder. You just to add a little bit more white pigment to it and to thicken it up. So we're going to find out together if this alters it too much. I know you can mix pigments with resin. So we're going to see what this does. So let's see how much ended up in there. Maybe that's a start. It looks like I got more on my counter than I did inside. The other thing I wanted to add in to make it look a little bit more like ranch is whatever this is. I think this come out of like the ramen kit, the ramen bowl kit. So I'm going to try to mix a little of that in there to make it look like ranch, something ranchy. So this is what it looks like right now. You get a little something to stir it with. So I got it all stirred around. Let's see if you guys can see inside of there. It definitely looks a little bit like some ranch dressing going on there. So let's see if I can scrape some of this out and get it to pour across my salad. And then I'm going to add some of my toppings. And this should be pretty interesting because this will not coat all of my salad. It's not down inside. And I may give it a few minutes to set so it sinks down in some of that lettuce. I don't know. I feel like this looks pretty ranchy. I'm going to guide a little, a little of it down. Get it all drizzly. And I think I'm going to pull a little down to the edge of the bowl just to make sure that the lettuce stays inside of the bowl. And I still got a little bit left if I decided I wanted to do something later. Well, maybe. I got to get this side. Let's get this side. I wish you guys could see in real life how realistic this looks. I don't know about on video. I've got a lot of lights in here and it tends to blow things out, but I can't see otherwise. However, this looks pretty darn realistic. So I'm drizzling it down just to get some of those leaves to attach to the bowl. You could probably do the same thing with um, something like this. Some... 3D puffy paint. It just takes longer for puffy paint to uh, dry and cure. I got a little bit left. I'm going to save that. Maybe I'll want to drizzle it on top of uh, some of these other toppings, but I want to go ahead and add my other toppings so that they can sprinkle down into that. So one of the things I did was, maybe you can see this, I just used my little grater and grated down um, just a little bit of my orange glue stick. And like I said, if you don't have glue sticks, look for some old crayons. So now it looks like I've got um, some carrots, some carrot slivers, which 
I think gives a little color. I could have done this with purple as well. I have purple sitting beside me just to look like, uh, you know, how they throw a little purple cabbage into it. I've got purple. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. So all I did literally was just scrape it down. I know you can't see what I'm doing at the moment because I have to, I have to set the little grater against something so that I can grate. I can't hold it up in the air and do that. I'm too, uh, I'm too unstable in my arms. Okay, I got a few little bits of purple, so it might look like maybe some purple cabbage or some red onion. So I drop a little of that down in there. And now I'm gonna go for my little tomatoes and get some of those put in there, some little cherry tomatoes. I might have should have dropped some of those down into the bowl. However, I think this will be fine. And I'm just gonna pop a few there. Whoops, lost that one. Let's see if I can slide a few down into the bowl real quick. I'm gonna hold this and see if I can tuck a few in. That way it looks like a fully loaded salad. We don't wanna be chintzy on our salad. I'm dipping it in a, <laughs> a little of the ranch. Just like I would in real life, I'm dipping the tomato in a little of the ranch and sliding it down into the side. Just so it looks like there's some ingredients a little lower. And I think that's really all I need. It doesn't take much to get the idea that it's there, but now I've got all these little, these little staticky foam balls running all around my desk. So if you see me trying to shake something off, they're real staticky since they're styrofoam. So I think that's, I think that's kind of everything I might want to add. I'll get a little closer so you can look at it. Hopefully you guys can see the details and um, kind of get an idea how it looks up close. And while we're looking at it up close, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this light a little bit and see how that seals down in there. I'm hoping enough of it sank down in to make sure it doesn't fall out of the bowl. I think it possibly did. Okay, so I went ahead and put it in my little light oven just to speed that process up. And um, so that did work. Check it out. It's, it's in there. It's stuck in there. So here is my makeshift salad. Literally with just random... Um, things that I already had in my craft stash, things that uh, I already play with anyway and that I need to use up. I just thought this might be a fun idea and I wanted to test it somehow this way before doing it in one of my better dollhouse bowls or my better miniature bowls. I didn't want to waste one if it didn't work out, so this is what I ended up with. I hope you had um, a little fun with it or learned a little something from it or even just got an idea of using some things that you have in your craft stash. That's all I had to share with you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.